How's it going everyone? Jerry here and welcome to a brand new episode of our Pokemon Platinum Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the last episode you guys, we finally acquired the very first gym badge here in the Sinnoh region and we also caught quite the team member as well. If you guys are of course enjoying this series, go ahead and drop a like down below because likes are very very appreciated. Now of course, this wouldn't really be a Jerry Oak LP if we didn't go over the team. So let's go ahead and do that before this episode actually begins. First up of course is the member you guys chose the very first Pokemon we acquired Nucleic the Mew level 16 Rocking Pound Transform and Mega Punch quite the move set I'm not gonna lie next up is Mercury our camera up to level 15 Rocking Growl Tackle Ember and Magnitude up next we have Shazam level 5 Rocking Charge and Tackle and last but not least the newest team member Terra Nova our Tyranitar level 6 Rocking Bite Leer Sandstorm and Screech I was gonna say Terrakion I'm not gonna lie I was going to say Terrakion, but it's not a Terrakion, it's actually a T-Tar. So let's go ahead and I don't think we need to go to the Pokemon Center because our Pokemon are already healed. So I don't think that is a necessity right now. Burn necessity! Okay, so uh, I believe we actually lost the chance at getting an encounter in this cave. So we won't be doing that. And I need to teach somebody Rock Smash. Unfortunate. Okay, let's see. Who wants to learn Rock Smash? Uh, do I give it to Terra Nova right now? Or do I give it to Mercury? Hmm, I think I'm gonna give it to Mercury. Just because I don't exactly know what, uh, what moves Tyranitar gets by level up. And you don't even need Growl. So, we'll get rid of Growl. And we'll give you Rock Smash. And I think... I'm actually going to switch Terra Nova to the front of the team because I do want Terra Nova to get some levels because she is only level 6. So I think some levels would do her do her some good. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this rock here. Come on. Alrighty. So this is still Route 204 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so we don't get an encounter here unfortunately. Now you are a trainer. I kind of want to avoid you. Excuse me. Can you walk look away? There we go. Thank you. Okay. A lagging tail because I obviously want to go last every single turn. Okay, what's up? What you got for me? What kind of person are you to be drawn here by the scent of flowers? Can I not be drawn by the scent of flowers? Is this what you're telling me? I like I like flowers. Artist in jail. Oh, Meowth, cool. Okay, so Meowth can't really do anything to my Terra Nova because Terra Nova does not like to be messed around with. Okay, so we're going to go for the bite. It's kind of ironic that we have Sandstorm as a move because we already have Sandstream as an ability. So having Sandstorm is kind of redundant. <laughs> okay, so let's go for a Bite here. As you have Bite as well, but we resist. It does like 2 damage. It does nothing. And this is going to do like 5 billion, so... There's that. And you get buffeted by the Sandstorm as well, so... That's pretty good for us. That is actually very, very good for us. Okay. So this bite should knock you out, and it does. So down goes Meowth. I think I'm going to have a le uh, an easier time leveling up Terra Nova as opposed to leveling up Voltorb because Voltorb can't really do much on its own, which is a little unfortunate. Poor little guy, Trico. Ooh. Okay, I don't want to mess with you. So I'm actually just going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, switch out here. Go out into my camera up, and then Ember the crap out of this Trico. I will say this though, I do like Trico. Trico is an amazing Pokemon. Okay, if I remember correctly, I believe we get, um... Today's Friday, actually. I'm recording this on Friday. So I believe we have two encounters, because there's one on our way to the Valley Windworks. And every Friday, I think, there is a Drifloom that appears. I think it's Friday, it could be Thursday. If it's Thursday, I, uh, I sort of messed up. Alright, so Terra Nova is now level 7, which is awesome. Now, because it is a Tyranitar, it's going to be a little difficult for us to actually level up. Um, because it's a pseudo, and that's what happens when you, uh, you know, when you deal with pseudos, you, it takes a while for you to actually level them up. And we have Mr. Dan here, aka A Drive. I think that should be the thumbnail. And, oh wow, you actually have a bug type. The more you know. The more you know. Alright, so let's go for Bite on this guy here. Easily knock it out, right? No! Terra Nova, you can't even knock out a Wurmple with one Bite? 
That's a very loud car. I do apologize, you guys. It's still earlier in the day. I don't like recording in the day just because there is so much noise. And um, it really gets, um, you know, this mic picks up pretty much everything because it's very, very... I have Whooper. Uh, this mic is very... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Actually, wrong Pokemon to switch out into. It's very sensitive. It picks up pretty much everything. Um, so that's one of the downsides to having this mic. But it's a very good mic, all things considered. Okay, so let's switch out into Nucleic here. All things considered, it is a very good mic. And I, I, I'm, I'm happy to have it. It's very good. Okay, Mud Sport. That would have been very bad if you went for Water Gun because we would have lost our camera up. Okay, now we go for Mega Punch. And knock you out in one hit! Damn, Nucleic, you fucking go. Boss, man. Sailor Alex, so are you a bug catcher or are you not a bug catcher? I don't even know. Okay, I'm pretty sure we can avoid them. Never mind, we can't. Liz. Cool. Senior and Junior Stu and Nick. Corsola and Chat Hot. Uh This is a little awkward. See if my Voltorb was a little higher level. Okay, I'm actually gonna go ahead and go for I think knocking out the chat taunt. I'm actually going to go for the Magnitude. I'm pretty sure Mew can take a Magnitude, right? So we're switching out Terra Nova. We're going out into Nucleic. Alright, I'm pretty sure. Peck. Seven. Does that kill Corsula? I know Corsula can be bulky. But it's super effective. There we go. Yeah, knocks it out. Cool. So we don't have to worry about Corsula. And its potential water move, whatever the fuck it is. Okay, good. Awesome, 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 awesome. We don't lose any Pokemon. Okay, so I think it's a good idea to level up my Pokemon now. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I don't even know where you get the experience share. I actually don't even know. I'm pretty sure you get it through the story, right? Maybe like one of... Professor Rowan's aides gives it to you or something. I don't know. I don't know, but down goes Chatot. And Senior and Junior Stu and Nick are defeated. Okay, there's an item somewhere around here. It's right here. Fire Fang! Well. I wonder if T-Tar gets Fire Fang. T-Tar does not get Fire Fang, unfortunately. It does get Ancient Power, but uh, its special attack really isn't the highest. I think he has, it has respectful, respectable, I should say, a uh, respectable special attack. Um, but I don't really want to, well, I don't know, maybe it's, is it worth? Is it worth? I actually want to see what your special attack is, T-Tar. Okay, so let's look up T-Tar real quick. T-Tar, you have a special attack of 95! That isn't bad in the slightest. I'm actually considering giving you Ancient Power. You know what? Because it is Stab, I'll fucking do it if you can learn it. Oh, it's 27. Yeah, it's Return. You get it. Yeah. Yep. Let's get rid of Ancient... I mean, let's get rid of something you don't need. Get rid of Leer. Because Screech does the same thing, but essentially you double its effect. So there really is no point in keeping Leer. Okay, so... um. So there's that. We have a T-Tar with a stab move, finally. Ancient power. How many Pokeballs do we have? We have 12. I'm gonna get three more. Just in case! You never know, you guys. You never know. Potion, I'll get four, I guess, because that's the only, uh, that's the only amount I can afford. Four potions. Okay. Oh, I just banged my mic. I apologize. I'm trying to fix my hair. Okay, so we do have an encounter here in Route 205. Actually, no, we don't because I see Team Galactic up there. 
Help, help, trainer, please, I want to see my papa. My papa and live at the Valley Windworks. But then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out and they're making my papa do something. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. I guess papa, not papa. Okay, so Valley Windworks. They're, oh, actually, I can't do the Drifloom event yet because Team Galactic is here. Alright, so let's go ahead and run in the grass here. What is our encounter for the Valley Windworks? It's a Magneton! Huh. That's actually rather interesting. That's actually rather interesting. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do here is switch into Nucleic and just go for Pounds until I weaken this thing. You know what I think I'm gonna do, guys? I'm actually gonna go ahead and use Magneton instead of Voltorb because Magneton has an evolution in this generation whereas Voltorb does not and Magneton is an all-around better Pokemon. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use Magneton instead and I have the perfect nickname for you. You are gonna be the reincarnation of Lucas from Dark Violet. I have decided to name you Lucas. Now, I only, I only wonder what nature you are. Let's see, if you're modest, that would be amazing. If you're timid, that would be great. Alright, let's go for the Pokeball. Let's catch this Magneton. Ooh, okay, okay, you don't want to get caught, that's fine, I respect it. Making me work to capture you, that's fine. I mean, if you want to go for the Thunder Shock and paralyze me, that's great because I'll be able to capture you easily. Easier, easily, easily. A little more easily. One. Ooh, Magneton. I see you, bro. Supersonic. I'm not even going for any attacks. I'm just going to keep throwing Pokeballs until you get caught, my dude. I wonder what else you could find here. I'm rather curious. One, two, wow. Okay, Magneton, I see it now. You don't want to get caught, but you are going to get caught. That's that's how it works around here. Okay, it does three damage, and it doesn't do anything to Magneton because it's a steel type. All right, let's see here. One, two, three. All right, so are we going to catch it now? Is that how this works? I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch into camera up because I don't want my view to go down to a thunder shock. Come on, Magneton. Okay, no, no, no. Do not go for a move. This thing's already weakened enough. Let's just keep tossing Pokeballs. One, two, three. Wow. Uh, I I don't really know what to do anymore. And at least no one takes damage from the sandstorm either. Okay, come on, Magneton, please just make this snappy. One, is it really that hard to catch? I'm pretty sure Magneton isn't that rare. So, therefore, your, your catch rate shouldn't be that low. Wait, hold on. I need to look this up because I really have no idea. Magneton. Wait, why did I pause it? No, I don't want to pause it. It's only 60! It's not that low! What is this nonsense? Okay. What? Do I have tackle on this thing still? Do I still have tackle on you? I do. Okay, so let's go for that. Okay, you're in the red. I don't care what anyone says. You're in the red. 
Your catch rate is only 60, so that's no excuse. You have to get caught. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I honestly don't even know you guys. I really don't know what to do anymore. I bought more Pokeballs just because I wanted to know what was available on this on this Valley Windworks. Magneton, I swear, you're not even worth how many did I waste on you? Like ten? Yeah, I've wasted so far ten Pokeballs on this thing. You are not worth ten Pokeballs. Why? <laughs> I find this very comical. I, I don't understand this, you guys. I really don't understand it. I don't want to use Voltor because you're a lot better than Voltor. Plus, you also get an evolution. What in the actual fuck is going on right now? I I don't <laughs> Come on. All right. We have two left. I don't understand what's going on. You are not a legendary Pokémon Magneton. You're just a Magneton. That is all. You are. That is it. Okay, 15 Pokeballs. That's what it takes to catch a Magneton. I swear, if you are not the proper nature, I'm gonna be very upset. Many mysteriously appear when more sunspots dot the sun. They stop TV sets from displaying properly. Why was that the toughest encounter yet? You are not anything special. You're just a gosh darn magneton. I swear, if you're not even the proper nature, you're jolly. <laughs> Such a bad nature. Such a bad nature. But you know what? You're better than Voltorb. I don't even know. 15 Pokeballs were wasted. I... I... <laughs> it's so funny to me. It, it really is the funniest thing ever. Okay, yeah, let's heal up our Pokemon and... Are we gonna do it today? Do we dare go inside Valley Windworks and take care of it right now? I don't know. I feel like we haven't done anything in today's episode, so I feel like we should do Valley Windworks just because. Again, we haven't done anything aside struggle to catch a fucking Magneton. Alright, we'll do it. We'll do it. Okay, stop talking to the sign. That's weird. Don't you dare go into Valley Windworks. I ordered to keep everyone out. If they're not part of Team Galactic, you're giving me a look that makes me think you're gonna try to get in. Okay, then you have to battle me for it. Really? That's that's all I have to do? Well, whatever. I'm fucking down. Sonia, you have a Vulpix. You know what? That's perfect. Oh, wow. Level 13. It's kind of scurry. It's kind of scurry, but they call me Tyranitar. Ancient power. Let's fucking do this, boys. That does nothing. Three points of damage. Gone. Destroyed. Out of here. Obliterated. Oh wow, you live. Alright, we'll go for it one more time. Oh, we outspeed. I guess we speed tie, right? Down you go. Really, that was it? That was your big strategy? Use a Vulpix on me? Level 9. Let's go, boys. Let's see. Plus 3. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Sonia, Fisher Sonia. You know, like I'm really supposed to win with the Pokemon like this. It's a Vulpix! Vulpix is amazing. What are you talking about?
Oh, so we can't go into Valley Windworks just yet. Hmm. I think I remember what to do. I think we go over to the back. There's like this flower garden here in Floroma Town that we can sneak behind. And uh, I believe we fight some galactic grunts, and then we get the we get the uh, the key for the Valley Windworks. Yeah, these guys right here. Enough arguing. Hand over that sweet honey. Do as we say. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must do it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do? We don't need the we don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution is simple. We ensure that brat stays quiet. Really? That's 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 your big plan. You guys don't know who you're messing with. Fisher Kim, you have a sand shrew? That's it? Level 13, sure, but what do you got against in Terra Nova? Yo, my adventure just started and we have a T-Tar on the squad. That's kind of wild. Look at- oh, that was a crit. I was like, look at how much that did. I swear, if you poison me... Thank you for not poisoning me. That would have been very, very, very bad and I miss. How do I miss? Do you have like... Okay, now I'm definitely switching. Definitely switching now. Okay, camera up. Let's do this. I missed three times, twice in a row actually, not three times. Whole rabbit spin, getting out spikes and rocks. I see you, man. Pro strats. Right, let's go for Ember. Thank you for not missing. Appreciate it, Mercury. Level 16. Alright, alright. Not bad, not bad. Alright. Yep, that's exactly why you will be a grunt forever. This is so lame. They're do they're going to dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort weakened you gives me the edge. Edgy. Edgy. Cammy. Beldum! That's actually kind of sweet. But then again, you're just a Beldum. And all you have is takedown. Okay, so let's go for Bite. That does nothing to me. And you take Recoil. Yo, I don't think this guy's gonna stay a Grunt forever because he has a Beldum. If he trains it, makes it into a Metagross. Yo, that's potential right there. So this guy, I actually have faith in, you know? This guy is actually gonna do something with his Team Galactic career. He's gonna be a fucking elite of, t of Team Grunt. Or Team, Team Grunt, of Team Galactic. Level 10, Titor! My girl! I was gonna say my guy, but that doesn't really work, because it's my guy. Uh, you have a Sentret. Alright, bring it on. That's my boy taped right there. <laughs> okay, so this should do a lot. Yeah, it does quite a bit actually. Packs a wallop. I want a promotion. So I you know what? With that Beldum, I can see you getting a promotion. I'm not gonna lie. This brand's tough, like really, really tough. Tougher than I can put into words, and I know a lot of words. We're done for here. What? We're done for here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Hey, what's up? Oh, what's this thing? I seem to have forgotten it. It's a wax key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I believe there's an item somewhere around here. Sweet, sweet honey. They are sure weird, though. You saw them how they were dressed. Yeah, they're quite stylish. So we have some honey now, which is pretty good. And uh, we can attract Pokemon in wild numbers. Okay, so there isn't... Item. There is no item here. Wait, what is this place? Is this a uh, Valley Windworks or, or Floroma Town still? The Floroma Meadow. Okay, so since we have honey, I'm pretty sure if we slather this honey here. And we go inside this house just to see what the fuck is in here. Okay, sometimes rare Pokemon appear. Okay, let's see. We have anything here? Maybe. No, no, no. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Okay, so we can come back and check. 
to see what we end up getting. That's an encounter, by the way. That's Floroma Meadow, not Floroma Town, and not Route 205. So that is an encounter for sure. Okay, so I think what we're going to go ahead and do is enter the Valley Windworks. And then, uh, we're, actually, we can actually, no, we actually caught our encounter for this place already. So we can't really slather the honey. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and enter. What? No way! You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless! I'm the loser in this after all! This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander! Wow, okay, so uh, I guess uh, they know we're here now. So in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and see just exactly what Valley Winterworks has to offer. If you guys enjoyed this episode of our Platinum Randomizer, you know what to do. Go ahead and drop a like down below because likes are very, very appreciated. And if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed what you saw, why not subscribe? Subscribing also helps out a ton. But anyways, you guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Jerry. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys here next time.